it doesn't matter who you are or what your other interests in film may be, everyone loves a good dog movie. Even for those who prefer cats, there's something about a classic film that shows the relationship between a boy and his dog or an animated movie full of canine pals or even a film about majestic and mysterious wolves that somehow always manages to draw us in. Welcome to Pet Shop Diaries. Please click that subscribe button and don't forget that notification bell so you will not miss out on any of our new episodes. Our topic for today is Top 15 Dog Movies That Every Person Should Watch Number 1 A Dog's Purpose This is a dog film both sad and happy, but enjoyable to anyone who wants to watch it. The film follows a feral puppy named Toby who is euthanized afterward. What follows after that is the dog being reincarnated as a retriever and then adopted by a boy named Ethan. The boy renames Toby as Bailey. Bailey bonds with Ethan and shares ups and downs of the boy's life. Eventually, Bailey dies and is reincarnated three times, with his past lives memories, into a different canine breed. It is happy and sad to see the dog live out its lives making a difference and bonding with its owner. On a happier note, and an ending, Bailey, in his final reincarnation, manages to reunite with his first owner Ethan and brings joy back to him. In his journey, Bailey learns of his real purpose, to bring happiness to his owner. This film is a good dog movie for family and dog lovers to watch. Number 2. Iron Will. There are lots of adventure-packed family dog movies to watch, but Iron Will is highly recommended. The story is about a young man who enters a dog sled race to get money for college and save his family's farm. With his dog team led by the Siberian Husky Gus, Will braves the cold, freezing weather, his fellow unscrupulous racers and physical hardship to win the race. Number 3. The Adventures of Milo and Otis. If you want a dog film where the dog is friends with other animals, then you will certainly love watching The Adventures of Milo and Otis. This movie is Japanese in origin, and its alternative title is Koneko Monogatari or A Kitten Story. The story focuses on Milo, a kitten who is friends with Otis a pug. One day Milo accidentally drifts downstream in a river while trapped in a box. Otis goes after his friend to rescue him. Milo has many adventures and meets other animals, while Otis tries to catch up to him. In the end, the two best friends find their way home with their mates and kids in tow. Friendship is the theme of this movie as well growing up. It is a testament to the friendship of the two animals that one of them decides to follow the other to the end. At the same time, the two manages to return home wiser and with a family of their own. Number 4. All Dogs Go to Heaven some of the best dog movies are full-length animated films and Don Bluth's All Dogs Go to Heaven is one example. Charlie B. Bark and a German Shepherd along with his friend Itchy escapes from a dog pound to reclaim the former's casino business. Charlie's rival who refuses to share the Prophet's plans to murder Charlie and succeed. Charlie ends up in heaven but decides to return to Earth for revenge. Number 5. Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey Dog movies with themes of friendship and perseverance in the face of trouble are the ideal viewing for families and kids. In Homeward Bound, the incredible journey, three pets, two dogs and a cat, mistakenly believe that their owners abandon them and they set out to find them. The three go on journey meeting new people and triumphing over obstacles until they are reunited with their family. Number 6. Hachi. A Dog's Tale. A kid named Ronnie tells a story about Hachiko, a dog that belonged to his grandfather Professor Park Wilson. The professor finds a lost Akita puppy from Japan whom he and his Japanese colleague give the name Hachiko. The teacher and pup form a close bond with each other. Hachi accompanies Parker to the train station and waits for him until he gets home. This routine continues even when the professor dies. Until to the end, Hachiko never leaves the train station, still waiting for the professor to come home. This dog film has plenty of drama and sad ending, but one can glean the lesson of friendship and dedication even under the end. It is a powerful experience even for the boy Ronnie and for anyone who watches this film. 
It is one of the sad dog movies, but an emotion moving and an excellent film to watch. Number 7. 101 Dalmatians. Disney's animated films are some of the best and their doggy movie 101 Dalmatians is one of the best as well as one of the best dog movies. Pongo and Perdita are Dalmatians belonging to the married couple Roger and Anita. Perdita gives birth to puppies whom Anita's friend Cruella Deville wants to buy. Roger refuses Cruella's offer, and she resorts to stealing the pups. It's up to Pongo and Perdita to rescue while making new friends along the way. Number 8. Beethoven. The plots of many family dog movies involve a dog whom a family adopts and grow to love their newest family. What is interesting about this film is that the human, not the dog that gets a character development. George Newton is a workaholic father reluctant to adopt a St. Bernard, who escaped from thieves, but his family eventually convinces him to accept the dog whom they name Beethoven. Beethoven proves himself to a loyal and lovable pet, which unfortunately causes George to be jealous of him. George gets rid of Beethoven, but he eventually realizes that for better or worse, the dog is part of his family. Number 9. Marley and Me. This movie is based on New York Times columnist John Grogan's memoirs, and it has won the sad dog movies in cinema. John and his wife Jenny adopt Marley, a puppy as a practice for rearing children. Marley's unruly behavior sorely tests the couple's patience. But in the end, Marley is a loyal and affectionate dog as he shares the couple's as well as their kids' ups and downs of life. Number 10. 8 Below. Family dog movies usually have their protagonist and narrative centering solely on the dog. The movie, 8 Below, focuses half on canine characters and half on the human characters while uniting the overall narrative. Jerry Shepard is a guide at a research base in Antarctica who is pressed by a scientist to take the latter via dog sled to Mount Melbourne. Due to weather conditions Jerry and the other humans evacuate leaving the dog team behind. Jerry thinks that he will come back for the dogs in few days. Unfortunately, it took much longer. Number 11. Lady and the Tramp. What's better than a romantic movie? Why an animated romantic movie about dogs of course. This film is one of the best dog movies by Disney, and even today lots of TV series as well as other films make a reference to it. Lady is an American cocker spaniel belonging to a Midwestern couple and Tramp is a stray mutt. Due to series of misunderstandings and troubles that are not her fault, Lady decides to run away, but Tramp rescues and helps her return to her home. Lady for her part is falling in love with Tramp and vice versa. This classic animated movie deals with the love of two dogs for different strata of society. The film shows how two different people can sometimes be together. The film contains one of the most memorable date scene that is both funny and romantic. Family and kids will enjoy this film. Ditto for couples on a date night. Number 12. Old Yeller. More than 50 years later, Old Yeller still tugs the heartstrings of anyone who watches this movie. This film is one of the best sad dog movies that will touch your heart. In Texas during the late 1800s, a farm boy Travis finds a Labrador retriever slash Mastiff mixed dog. At first, Travis treats the dog coldly, but after the canine saves Travis' younger brother, he eventually warms up to him. Travis names his Old Yeller. Old Yeller proves his worth as dog companion, and is the best friend of Travis. Unfortunately, a rabies outbreak brings a tragic end to the boy and dog's relationship. The movie shows us the highs and lows of having a pet that we love. The joy, the responsibility, the pain of loss and the memories that a pet leaves behind are some lessons that one can learn. For his part, Travis moves on with the memories of his friends. Just make sure to have tissues on hand since some of the scenes can be sad. Number 13. Benji. In a small in Texas lives a dog named Benji who is a stray mutt. Despite being a stray dog, Benji befriends many of the townspeople. Benji's favorite people are the Chapmans and their two kids who feed him. The dog lives a pretty normal life until someone kidnaps the Chapman children Paul and Cindy. Despite not being their pet dog, Benji sets out to rescue the kids and along the way finds his own family. 
Benji is a dog movie for family and children who enjoy watching the story through the eyes of this lovable canine. Because of the Chapman kids showing kindness to Benji, the dog reciprocates them by risking his own life for them. In turn, the movie teaches us the nature of kindness. Due to the success of the film, Benji has four more movies after this one. Number 14. The Fox and the Hound. Two different animals a fox named Todd, and hound named Copper, become friends with each other despite their differences. But as they grow older the people around states that can never be friends due to their differences. As the tensions grow, the two friends will eventually decide on whether to remain as friends or become enemies. A dog movie for family and kids explores prejudices and how society plays a role in a person hating another person is not only entertaining but is insightful as well. The film also raises the question of whether societies are wrong when it comes to not coexisting with different people. Number 15. White Fang. Some of the best dog movies are adaptations from novels, and the movie White Fang is one of these kinds of movie. White Fang is originally a novel by Jack London who is famous for his other work The Call of the Wild. Unlike some of the best dog movies, the main canine character is not a pure dog, but a wolf dog. The setting of the film is in Alaska during the late 19th century. Jack Conroy arrives from San Francisco to search for his late father's claim. Jack meets Wild Fang who is territorial and vicious by nature. Eventually both human and wolf dog develop a close bond with each other. Jack's perseverance to befriend and tame White Fang is a remarkable feat. The two are so close to each other that Jack decides not to return to San Francisco and remain in the Yukon. For Jack has finally realized that he belongs in the Yukon, something his father wanted, and that his friend White Fang important to him. The lesson that one learns is the willingness to give up things for the sake of something important like a real friend. This film is a heartwarming experience to watch. Do you agree with our list? Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. This has been another episode of Pet Shop Diaries. For more pet care information or supplies, visit us at www.petshop.ph. If you like this video, please share it with your friends on social media. Help us build more subscribers by spreading the word around. Click the round icon to subscribe and one of the videos on the left to watch our next feature. See you again soon.